Hey, it's Phil from Euroheat, and if you're watching this, you're probably considering installing an insulated heated screed. And that's fantastic because it's definitely the best way to heat the floors in your building. But there is one element of it that is so commonly overlooked and ignored, and it ends up in cracks in the floor finish. And that's definitely not what you want in your beautiful new home or your office or, or whatever building you have the heated floor installed in. And the reason for these cracks are a lack of expansion joints. Now, expansion joints are little breaks allowed in the screed between different sections that allows the screed to move. And why we need to allow the screed to move is because it, when it heats up, it expands a little bit. And when it cools down again, it contracts a little bit. And this is common in all building materials, in concrete, in steel, in glass, everything. Everything, as it heats up, it expands, and as it cools down, it contracts. So with the floor, we have it continually, just you know, on a very small scale, expanding and contracting, expanding and contracting. And so that means that if all of the floor is expanding and then contracting, what can happen is that it tugs from all different directions or it expands and pushes in all different directions and something's got to give. And so you have to allow that give. But when you don't, what will happen is it will give itself. It will just crack where the most pressure is applied or where the weakest point is. So for example, where I am here is we're coming from a, a large open area into a hallway. And because it narrows down here, this is a natural sort of weak cracking point. And so here we have planned an expansion joint at, at this point to line up with the middle of this sliding door. And we, that means that the heated screed over here will, will stop on this side, there'll be a slight break, and then the, another heated screed will start here and continue on. And so we have these uh, protective sleeves over the pipe here to give the screed and the pipes a little bit of room for movement. But otherwise, these two screeds are actually completely separated, and it means that they can just move on that tiny, tiny scale, just a, a tiny bit, and that will prevent your floors from cracking. So often we run into some resistance when planning these expansion joints because people picture this massive valley or gorge, you know, which they're going to have to either step over or they might fall into, you know, when they're walking by or they think it's going to be the ugliest thing they've ever seen and, you know, it's going to ruin the whole house. But what actually happens is that before the system is planned, before we even know where we're going to put the pipes exactly, we meet with the tiler we figure out the tiling set out, we know where all the tile joints are going to be, and this way we can plan the best position for the expansion joints, and we can basically integrate them into all the grout lines so that they're hardly noticeable. And so you don't actually just grout over it because the grout is a, a stiff material, but you put a, a, a silicon or a mastic in there that fills the gap and it matches the color of the grout. So it's almost unnoticeable. It, I'm not gonna say it's invisible, but it's almost unnoticeable, especially after you put in furniture and you fill up the place. You, you don't even realize that it's there. But it's definitely worth it because it stops you from having an ugly crack later on, which you can't do anything about, and which definitely looks better than a nice, straight, planned, color-matched, mastic uh, expansion joint. There's also some uh, misconceptions when constructing these expansion joints, and people treat them the same as construction joints. Now, construction joints are often uh, used to control cracking in concrete, and that's good from an aesthetic, aesthetic purpose. But for us, we need to allow, not for cracking, we're trying to prevent cracking, we're trying to allow for movement. And so if you just do a saw joint, which is a construction joint or any other type of classic construction joint, what happens is you might you, uh, develop that crack, but then the two bits of screed, the, the two screeds are still actually in contact. And that means that when they expand, they're expanding into each other, which can lead them to uh, like delaminating from the, the, the substrate below and end up in either more cracking or drumming or just uh, you know, a, a difference in the, the height level between the two screeds. 
please remember to always separate your screeds. They should, it should never be a construction joint. It has to be a specifically constructed expansion joint where the two screeds are completely isolated uh, and the, the expansion joint has to carry the whole way through the floor finish. You can't just tile over the floor finish. At Euroheat, we've been installing insulated heated screeds for almost 30 years. So if you would like some expert advice or some help with your project, go to our website, find our email address, do send us an email with information about your project, what you'd like to achieve, and a full set of plans, including sections and elevations and all the information you can send us so we can get a great understanding of what you're trying to achieve in your project. And then we'll get back to you and let you know if and how we can help you best.